guys it's little fit nursery here and I wanted to answer a question I got on one of my videos um, from a lovely uh, young lady named Katie uh, she attended the doll show and she's so sweet she's I remember she was asking she was the gal who was asking uh, Jackie and Stephanie for to autograph um, the Rose Doll Show onesie and then I was there too and and then she um, asked if I would sign the onesie as well so it's like the first time in my entire life anyone has asked me to sign anything except for like legal forms and medical forms and things like that so definitely not like for an autograph um, or anything like that so um, anyway she was she's so cute and um, she um, messaged me recently asking just saying that she's thinking of starting a YouTube channel and there's, if I had any advice or tips and so I thought I would go ahead and make a video I actually don't feel like I'm the best qualified person to talk about this subject because um, those of you guys who have watched me for any length of time you guys know my channel is actually pretty new I've only been on YouTube for a couple months now so but I did watch a number of videos and I did a lot of research and a lot of thinking before I decided to go on YouTube. So I thought I would share some of the things that I heard from um, other videos and, uh, and other folks who've been doing this a lot longer than me. And, um, and just also it's just things that I have kind of found um, to be helpful for myself. So first of all, if you're watching my video, you're probably a fan of these very realistic um, babies we call, you know, reborns and then, you know, silicone babies. Um, this baby is uh, my dear Olivia, who is the Emery May sculpt um, by Andrea Arcello. And she, I really miss this girl when I went away to the doll show. Uh, she is just um, so, so sweet. And it was just so nice to come back and see all my babies because I really missed everyone being gone. Um, but Clara got a lot of wonderful attention while she was away. So anyway, Olivia um, is, for those of you who guys don't know and are new to my channel, she's the portrait sculpt of my daughter when she was a baby. And so she's extremely special. I also have, she's a, a baby that I got recently and is a twin to Isla, who is the original prototype of Emery May. And then Aria is the sleeping twin. So it's a little bit of background. But yeah, I've so before I decided to um, start my channel, I'd actually been a collector of these babies for eight years, kind of off and on. Um, and, you know, but recently in like the last six months, it's definitely been on. I've been very, very um, kind of passionate about collecting again. I've acquired quite a number of babies over the last several months. And, um, and I just, you know, there were so many fun things going on in the YouTube Reborn community and some, some of them require that you have a channel with content, like to participate in certain giveaways or to do fun things like Serenity had um, her baby um, Curious Chloe that she had made, you know, circulating around uh, a few, you know, Reborn um, Mommy's YouTube channels. Um, so things like that, you know, you need a channel to participate. So so that was part that was kind of one the final push I needed to actually decide to do it but here are some of my tips so um, I would keep your channel focused on a theme um, unless you're you know going to kind of have it be more of a general you you can combine it with like general vlog of your life if you'd like but just to know who your audience is and you know why they might want to watch your channel probably over time um, you know we get to know the person behind the camera and we're interested in other things that they might do that have like nothing to do with reborn collecting like I know um, life with crystal you know her channel that I really love like I I watch all her videos um, and she has a lot of them where she doesn't talk about babies at all because it's just really her life and things she's going through in her life and places she's visiting you know things like she's getting you know she got someone to clean her house and that was really exciting right like I, I just you know enjoy her as a person through her videos I've never met her before but um, you know like I'll watch that but I think that if the video if the channel had started off being super general and you know, you know, she it might have um, not been the same as kind of introducing those things later on. So, so my videos are really about you know re reborn and silicone baby collecting, and and also my kind of adventures uh, on the other side of the coin being an artist. So, so kind of obviously pick a theme, uh, and find um, in terms of the equipment. I I actually keep it really simple. I just use my iPhone. I have an iPhone 7. I, I think the video and picture quality is really nice. And then I have a very, very small 
tripod. I don't, um, I don't even have one of those tall tripods, but I, I literally am taking this video sitting here in, in, in on the floor of my bedroom and uh, the video is propped up on, you know, on the bed. Like it's, it's on this like little hard surface to keep it from slipping around, but it's literally on the bed. So, so I would just pick, I would pick a, um, you know, figure out what you're going to do about your camera. I just find this to be really easy because then I can upload the videos directly from my phone and I don't need to, you know, have any kind of fancy equipment to, to make my videos. And my phone is always with me everywhere. So I can shoot videos pretty easily, you know, being out in public and things like that too. Um, and I apologize if some of this information is super basic for you experienced YouTubers. Um, one uh, editing tool that I've found that I really, really like is Splice. And so I use that all the time. It's just an app. I downloaded it to my phone. And, um, it, you know, you're able to cut and edit out sections. Um, and you can take lots of videos and piece them all together, which was extremely helpful for the doll show because especially places where you're going to be shooting lots of short videos, it's helpful to have an editing tool where you can really add everything all together. So um, I use Splice um, for my editing tool and I really, really like it. Uh, the other thing um, to think about is, um, you know, in terms of the types of videos you want to do, like there's so many, there's so much variety in the Reborn YouTube community. There really is, you know, something for everyone. And that's, I think, the fun thing about this hobby. You know, there are some people who love to do role play videos or, you know, will do lots of changing videos or, you know, videos feeding the baby a bottle um, or changing, changing them into new outfits or showing clothes that you're buying for the baby, um, taking the baby out in public and, and shooting video footage of that or video footage of reactions. There are so many different types of videos you can do. Uh, my favorite videos are the discussion topics. Like I love to, I love a good healthy discussion personally. So um, I really, really like, you know, the videos where, you know, we're just kind of talking about a topic and, um, you know, having some healthy discourse because this is one of those hobbies that it's not mainstream. And so there's just not a lot of people, you know, that at least not for me, at least, I don't know anybody local to me who also loves these babies. Um, I think probably still the vast majority of the public out there don't know about these babies and don't know that they exist. So, so I really love discussion topics and, and I, um, I always have like, lots of ideas of things I want to talk about. So you guys have probably seen this in some of my past videos. And if not, I'd encourage you to go back and, and check out some of the topics because I, I, I do love a good discussion topic. Um, and you know, the other thing too is there are the theme days of the week. So in terms of, um, you know, if you're not sure what to do a video of, the theme days are, give you some great ideas. And I might not get this right, but I believe the theme days are Disney Monday. Um, I think Tuesday is t-shirt and diaper and I think Wednesday is onesie Wednesday Thursday is theme Thursday and I believe lucky ducky um, does themes Thursday but um, oh, you know over the summer we had my reality with Nicole and having you on both um, putting out themes as well so and then Friday I think it's fashion Friday and then Saturday might be pajama Saturday so those are the theme days that I that I am aware of. Um, I was trying to do a couple of them, and then um, and I think I found that like my baby's wardrobe is kind of limited. I don't actually have like a lot of variety in their wardrobe. Not a lot of patterns and designs and different kinds of animals necessarily. Um, and then also from a timing perspective, sometimes I'll shoot a video and I want to upload it days later, or I might not have time to make videos for a few days. So it's nice to have. Um, just the flexibility of kind of doing whatever. So that's kind of what I'm, what I do, but, but occasionally I think it would be fun to do um, a theme. So, so anyway, so those are the theme days that you can do and, um, yeah, and just have fun with it. I mean, I, I, I did read some advice that, um, before you start your YouTube channel, you have to really know yourself and just be prepared. Um, you know, you have to have a, a, a reasonably thick skin because I, I think I've been really lucky so far. I have, um, and by the way, thank you guys for 500 subscribers. I was so excited to reach that milestone. That's like really, really thrilling. And so thank you all for just tuning in and watching my videos. All right. So that aside, um, you know, and I know my channel is still extremely tiny. So, you know, as, uh, as it 
grows and hopefully continues to grow, you know, over time, you know, I know that a lot of the larger channels have, you know, kind of shared that, you know, sometimes they'll get the negative comments, the thumbs down. I've been getting some thumbs down too on some of my videos. So I don't know who does the thumbs down, but there are, there are people out there who don't have nice things to say and are going to make rude comments and, you know, and, and that sort of thing. And so just to, kind of know in advance that that will happen or may happen and then figure out how you're going to handle that when that happens. And so, and I, and I think my, um, you know, my decision on that is actually Stephanie from In Love With Reborns 2011 shot a great video on this topic about kind of handling the negativity and, um, and I, I think that, yeah, you know, it can be very hurtful to have negative things, you know, negative comments made on your channel, you know, and I, I really want my channel to be a positive place where, you know, people, we can discuss these topics and, um, but we can be respectful towards each other too at the same time. And yeah, and, and, and this is really, at the end of the day, we all share a love for these babies. So that's really kind of my goal for the channels just to keep things positive. So, um, I personally think the best thing to do in those situations is just not to respond. Um, you can even delete, um, to just, just remove the comment, you know, from, from your channel if you want or not, you could leave it too. Cause I think it honestly reflects worse on the person writing the comment than on your channel. Um, it just, uh, it's something, you know, we're all adults here and, you know, we, we can kind of see when someone's being nasty and it doesn't look good on them. You know, it's, it's not, um, Anyway, so I, I just think that that's probably the best approach to take if you get if you get that negative negativity. Um, what other advice would I have? You know, find a good time of day that's good for you to take videos. And and sometimes you can shoot a couple videos in a row, but not upload them at the same time. Uh, so that's that's another piece of advice I have. And one other advice that I have or that I heard is try to upload videos on a regular basis. Um, I'm trying to aim for a daily one video daily, um, but you know you know if it, whatever that frequency is that feels comfortable for you. Maybe it's once a week. Maybe it's once every two weeks. Maybe it's every three days or every other day. Whatever that frequency feels you know, you know, whatever is good for you on that, you know, just try to find a rhythm and stick with it so that your subscribers who are subscribed to your channel, um, know that they can have, you know, that they'll have regular content coming. And, um, I am so grateful to the ladies who, you know, watch my channel and they comment consistently. And, you know, you guys who are watching know who you are. I do read every single comment. Um, Sometimes there may be a comment that goes on to one of my older videos and it doesn't like float up to the top of my inbox and I might miss a comment here and there, but I, I do really try to, to read um, every comment that I can. And so even if I don't respond, I'll try to heart or, or like or, you know, something just so you guys know, just to acknowledge that I did read it. Um, so... So yeah, that those that's really the advice that I would have, you know, um, in terms of starting a YouTube channel. Um, oh, one little little trick too, um, with regards to, you know, when you're uploading from your phone, and I literally feel so so stupid for not discovering this sooner, but you know, you're on your phone. There is a setting for like display and brightness. And you can set it, you know, your screen will sometimes go to like a screen save mode or an auto lock mode after like a certain number of minutes. I think mine is set at five minutes. But when you're upload, you, up, you're uploading YouTube videos, that is not very convenient because you could be uploading a video and your screen's open, but then after five minutes, it's going to lock and then that will actually up, abort your upload of the video. So I discovered that this, this the hard way while I was at the doll show at night, splicing videos, staying up late, trying to get these videos uploaded, but sitting there yawning and wanting to go to sleep, um, I didn't realize that you can set that um, display setting to never, to have it never go into screen save mode. Um, and then, you know, you can literally upload the video and then just walk away from it for however long and then go back and the processing should be all done. All you have to do is title it, um, go ahead and click publish and you know every, and everything should be all done. I did not know this until literally a couple days ago. So that would be a big piece of advice uh, for you, for you guys um, with regards to you know kind of uploading the videos just from your phone and so you're not experiencing that frustration of this whole screen just like freezing up every five minutes and you having to keep tapping it to refresh it. So um, so anyway, maybe that's a very like 
duh <laughs> sort of thing that all the rest of you know and I don't know but anyway um yeah so maybe Olivia says hi sorry it was a little bit boring she's just lying here but um yeah but we you know it was you know I just thought I would just shoot that quick video I don't know if it was helpful or not and I am probably like the least equipped person to answer that question because I'm still so new um, to making videos. Oh, another thing, um, this pillow thing is awesome. Um, I think Yvonne from My Little Tulip has has one. It's, I forget what it's called. I think it might be like a boppy newborn lounger or something. I got mine off of Amazon. But it's great to have a place to set your babies and um, you know to do changing videos and things like that. But they're a little bit elevated, so it's easier to see them than if they were like just flat on the ground. And I think it also looks a little bit more flattering to the baby as well. Um, anyway, so here's, here's little Olivia. Um, gosh, she is so cute. Oh, and you guys, I, I just can't believe I'm getting another Andrea Archello baby. I'm so excited about that. Um, and I'll be very curious to hear all of you guys weigh in on your thoughts on whether I should do the open mouth or the close or keep the mouth as is with the little tongue sticking out. So anyway, I, I have a long time to decide because I'm going to do a very long layaway on that baby so I can, so it doesn't, um, it minimizes the, the hurt on my, um, on my bank account in the near term. All right, um, everybody. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, and you know, if you have a video, if you want to shoot a video on this topic, as a new YouTuber myself, I would love to hear what you guys have to say on the topic. Any tips and advice you would have for new YouTubers, um, you know, planning to make videos for the first time and and um, and publish a channel. Um, all right, everyone. Um, that's all I have for today. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.